So I've been talking a lot about my new favorite tool, Roam, on Twitter, email, and so on. And the big question I always get is, what's so different uh, about Roam? What's so special about it? Why, why would somebody switch to this? Because especially if you're already using Evernote or Notion or another note-taking slash productivity tool, uh, something needs to be really great to justify making the switch, right? It, you're already heavily invested in another tool, so you know why would you try a new one? Uh, well, as someone who had over 2,500 Evernote notes uh, and countless pages in Notion, uh, Airtable, everything, uh, I wanted to explain what's so great about Realm. Uh, and what made it worth the move and why I found it so much more magical than a lot of those other note-taking or personal knowledge management tools out there. At its core, Rome really only does two things. It gives you a place to write and then allows you to create relationships among the things that you write. Just from those two features, though, it unlocks a pretty substantial possibility of things you can do. So if you were opening up your daily note, you could just start off simple by recording something you're working on. For example, working on the Y Realm video. But this is basically just a journal at this point. You could do this in any app. Where it's really interesting is in starting to link between your pages. So if instead I type these double brackets and do why Rome video video, I could just leave the second video. Now my daily note for today, March 25th, is linked to the why Rome video. And if I want to go uh, check out this page, I can click on it to go there. Now, as you'll notice, there are other pages that are linking to this. So you can see it was part of my plan for this week to work on this video. Uh, one of my daily goals for today is to record the why Rome video. And if there were other pages linking to it, you would see them all here. Now, that's great for journaling, but where it gets really powerful is if you want to work on a personal knowledge management system. And this is essentially an idea of cataloging and better recording all the things that you're learning so that you can better reference them later so that you never lose the things that you're reading uh, and so that you're making full use of them. So for example, uh, we're having some exciting financial times right now with all of the uh, coronavirus, COVID-19 fears. So perhaps I want to go through any of my notes on investing. I can open up the search bar and type investing, and this will take me to my page, which I use for tagging other pages that relate to investing. All of these are individual articles that I've read at one point uh, that I went ahead and tagged with the investing tag. So for example, uh, I could open up any of these books, right? So here's Fooled by Randomness by Nassim Taleb, and here's all of my notes from this book. Or I might dive into one of these articles. This is the Permanent Portfolio Investing Guide by Josh Kaufman. And you can see that within the uh, notes from the article, I'm also linking out to other pages. So this might remind me to check out the idea of the permanent portfolio. And now when I open that up, I can actually see some other pages that reference the permanent portfolio. For example, this one on stay rich and maybe get a bit richer without dying trying from demonetized. And this might make me think, oh, there's some good ideas in here that I might want to look at. But this reminds me that I should see what else demonetized has written that I should check out. Okay, maybe I want to read something about how to make money investing from them. As you can see, all of this linking between pages by tagging them and jumping around allows you to really seamlessly navigate through your personal knowledge system without having to go through the tedium of meticulously filing and organizing your pages. This is what Rome does so much better than any other note-taking tool. It creates a truly flat, interlinked means of note-taking uh, compared to the more filing cabinet style systems that you get with Evernote or Notion. And since all you need to do is uh, add hashtags to different pages to link them amongst each other, you never really have to think about where a page goes and everything is automatically uh, linked in both directions. So what that means is uh, if this is tagged with finance, right? So this has the finance tag on it. That means that it doesn't just send me to finance. Finance also sends me to this page. So putting a tag on one page applies it on both so that you always are getting these bi-directional relationships between your pages. That makes it a great knowledge management system, but the fun doesn't stop there because while it does work great just for knowledge management, it also works great for productivity. So as you saw, I already had some tasks for working on this video, but because everything is so easy to interlink, 
I can go ahead and create tasks. And the hockey for that, if you're curious, is command enter. But I can create a task to finish the YROM video, right? And now I have this task assigned to this project, right, to finish the video. And if I go to the video, you can see that I have this task here to finish it. And it's in my day for today. If I went into my page where I set my plan for the week, I could create these to-dos as well. And since they're all being assigned to different projects, uh, it makes it very easy to collect all of your to-dos within the relevant knowledge sets uh, that you're going to need for completing those tasks. I could also be in this page and I could create a task saying, finish the video today. And now when I go back to my daily page, you can see that now the task is here to finish this today. And then if I wanted to just focus on some to-dos for today, I can click this little filter button and I could say, okay, what do I need to get done today? And it, if you notice, it removed a couple of the other references to the day. So it's great for managing knowledge uh, and it's great for getting things done. It's also great for tracking relationships. For example, let's say that once I finish this video, uh, I wanna make sure a few important people see it. So I might indent this and I could say, let's make another task to send to Connor who's the founder of Realm, because I imagine he'll like this, and David Perel, because he, I was trying to convince him to check out Realm the other day. So now I have a task that tags these two people in my database. If I open up the page, you can see some of my past interactions with Connor. And if I wanted to, I could start adding some more information on him here, right? Like his Twitter is at Connor. Uh, same thing goes if I open up David's page. I've already added some metadata here, which I haven't filled out yet, but... I can add that in any time and I can see anything else related to him. For example, this is an article that I read that I liked that David had actually recommended. So I tagged it as being recommended by him. So if I included this in a future Monday medley, which is my weekly newsletter, which I'll go ahead and tag it for now, then I might give him a shout out in the newsletter that you know, he recommended it to me. So Rome's working great as a knowledge management tool, as a task manager, and as a CRM. But the last thing it's really great for is as a new tool for writing, because as I was showing with some of the knowledge management work, it allows you to very easily pull from a lot of your different uh, bits of information, different bits of things you've read to get some more ideas for what you could include. So for example, like I said, I do a newsletter called the Monday Medley. So if I wanted to link to that here to work on it, I could do that and then I can open it up and Here's where I've actually got it all written out for going ahead and copying and pasting into uh, my email newsletter service provider. But something might stand out here that there's this section down here that looks a little bit strange, right? Uh, why is this formatted differently? Well, that's actually because uh, this is a bullet from another page. So if I open that in the sidebar, I can see that it's actually from this article, the Sovereign Individual Investment Thesis. And then I could fully open that up and see all of my notes from it. But what I actually did is instead of copying and pasting this, this is just a reference to this block. So what Rome really uh, excels at is allowing you to write something once and then reuse it in a bunch of different places uh, so that you're getting the most out of each piece of information. You're never having to like copy and paste. You can just reference amongst your pages. And then what's really fun about that is much as pages have the ability to uh, see where else they've been referenced. For example, you can see all the times I was working on the medley here. Uh, individual bullets have that as well. So if I went to the Sovereign Individual Investment Thesis, and I close the sidebar and I click on this little one, I can see that I referenced it here in Medley 203, right? It's showing where that bullet's been referenced. So as you are you know, using ideas from different pieces of knowledge you're collecting and including them in articles, newsletters, whatnot, you're seeing all of those relationships so that you're saving uh, how you're using all the knowledge in your database over time. So it might seem a little good to be true and there are definitely shortcomings, right? It's still a, a beta product in some senses and there are some frustrations if you're coming from Evernote or Notion, but it truly is providing a way to uh, take good notes uh, from things you're learning and record your knowledge, interlink those notes to everything else so that you ne you're never losing anything and so it feels like everything you're learning is contributing to a broader body of knowledge uh, and allow you to be really productive and uh, create more, whether that's you know truly creative work, if you have, uh, whether you're a, a writer or a programmer or a designer and you need to organize your projects, it provides an excellent tool for that and a great way to manage your relationships. 
uh, as you dive more into it, it becomes better and better and more useful. But as I showed in the beginning, you can start out very simply, just recording what you're working on, linking it to pages, and then digging more into some of the other videos on YouTube about Rome's features and getting more and more robust with it over time. Uh, I think that for anyone who's invested a lot in Evernote or Notion, it, it really can replace those for you. And it can uh, give you a lot more value than those tools if you're trying to use them to be more creative and to learn more. So if you've been on the fence, I do, I do encourage giving it a try and checking it out and letting me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I also have a, a longer article you can check out. That's at nataliason.com slash blog slash Rome. Uh, and also a more detailed course, which is just at learn.nataliason.com if you really want to dig more into Rome. And I'll put those in the comments as well. But check it out. Uh, let me know what you think. I'm very responsive on Twitter about Rome stuff, as is the founder. Uh, so I'm at Nat Elias and he's at Kana. And I'd love to hear what you think. I hope you give it a go.